park here, a really beautiful, elegant bird. They're amazing to watch in the wild. They survive in really extreme environments, so it can be 40 degrees in the summertime, or it can be minus 22 here in the winter, and their feathers can be frozen. We're here in Twizel at our Khaki Captive Rearing Facility. We're just standing outside our newest aviary, which was funded by Global Wildlife Conservation. Just giving them their morning feed. We feed them twice a day, in the morning and then in the evening. It's a mixture of ground up ox heart, go cat biscuit and iodized salt. A lot of work goes into these birds, incubating the eggs, rearing the chicks. The team are just catching the birds all ready for release. Most of them will have hatched between October and January last year, and I have been looking after them the entire time. Just making sure that they're all going out in the best health possible. Those feet look beautiful. They are very rare, and they are mostly restricted back to Tamanahuna or the, the Mackenzie Basin region. Eyes look good, all good to go. The biggest threat is um, predators. So cats, stoats, ferrets, rats, um, hedgehogs, you name it, it'll, it'll eat them. So increasing predator control will have a huge impact on the species because it will allow more more birds to survive through to adulthood where they can start breeding and actually producing offspring to contribute to the species. Uh, it all started back in the early 80s when there were around about 20 birds left in the wild. That was the total population of khaki in the world. Today is, is significant for us because we really feel like um, we're starting to make some progress. 71 birds today. This is the highlight of my year really. So these birds have been living in, in aviaries that are about three metres tall, so they've never flown more than three metres off the ground before, so this is a first for them. It's nothing like opening a box of birds and letting them free. They're in the wild now, so it's a very rewarding thing to do.